What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Ranking of Kings, episodes 17 and 18. The first one is called The Curse of Immortality. Remember, if you guys want to watch early access or full length to this episode and all the other episodes of all the shows we put on the channel, the Patreon is listed down in the description down below. You guys can also watch this live and uncut with me over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Dapper Darius. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Check out all the other social medias, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated y'all let's hop into this ranking of kings episode 17 and 18 first one is called the curse of immortality let's do this satan one of the gods who are going extinct gods the underworld it all makes sense but they're literally the sons of satan no superpowers, but got a lot of physical ability. But Daisha has the most superpowers. Yep, this is the war, the civil war. They did say he was a brutal and horrible man, yeah. So how did that curse of immortality get on Uken? Because that's what his dad was wanting the whole time. Just naturally? I mean, he was a super nice person before, so I understand that, you know? And Despot was saying once someone becomes immortal, the first thing they lose is their, is their humanity, you know? And now we cut from that, how he was, to who he is now. Is that why, at the end of last episode, he started doing this? But she can call Ukin to her? Why? Yep, he started like dislocating his joints to break free, yep. Okay, this makes a lot of sense why he just turned up out of nowhere. Shira Sampe? That's what he did to, uh, what's his name that he killed the other episode? Kingbo, right? You really think you'll be able to pull APS? <laughs> Yep. I feel bad for APS because he's truthfully in the middle. He has allegiances. Wow. The kingdom to fall. He has allegiances to both sides. Miranjo, Bosse, Boji. He wants what's right at the end of the day too, you know? Damn. This is some real crazy plot twist to them. We're actually starting to get some... uh detailed info though from apius and i understand that apius like i said you have a very complicated allegiance yep and this is mm, this is very interesting i'm glad boji's starting to get some info though uh or did you is that like the personification of is that like the actual like power scaling? Like, can he actually detect that power has that much power, or is that just like okay, Boji? Well, a few people. We got Kage, Despa, Hailing, Dorshi. I see. That's what I'm saying. APS is a very complicated character. He likes who he likes, doesn't like who he doesn't like, you know, that's human. I didn't know he was watching him with Mitsumata. I do know he has watched him from the sidelines a lot, though. Is he okay? How injured did he get? Now he's to think about Bosse and how to deal with these people who supposedly love him and care about him, but doing such shady, backhanded stuff, you know? Like, it's, it is very... <laughs> especially someone as insecure and working on his self-confidence as Boji is. I get it. Oh! Thankfully, he has a mission. He has a directive, objective, and he's going. Woo! I was nervous for a second there. Oh, 
I need. Uh, I would love to get more details about the the, the shadow, the Kage backstory as well, as we know they were used and betrayed, and there's definitely details and hints about that. I love the foreshadowing. There's still that one character who's fucking up Kage's mom that I want to see him die, you know. So it's like. And Ukon's here. Yep, and he was the one who saw Ukon firsthand. Yep, <laughs> that's about a typical response I would have. Okay, you gotta do what you gotta do. He's like, I am out of here. Gotta go. Boji is in hot pursuit, though. My god, look at my man's parkour abilities. And Ukan is Spider-Man, literally. Yeah, so I'm curious, because it's not like Dragon Ball Z where they have a scout. You know, there are certain people who can obviously detect power, have some sort of power scaling radar, but then there are people who are able to hide it as well. Because I remember when the criminals first came to the kingdom, APS was able to say, like, three of these guys are heavy hitters. But then he looked at, like, King Bo and Ukon. Maybe it was King Bo that was a heavy hitter. He looked at Ukon and some other people and were like, wow, I detect nothing from them. So they must be heavy hitters. So I love the kind of hidden power scaling there is because I don't think Boji has the power to detect other people's power because that really comes from experiences and, and, like, fighting just a number of strong people. But Boji's power is definitely up there because this is the second person in this episode alone that have been like, what the fuck happened to you, Boji? You're crazy now. So, I love, I love that anime. This is so smart taking advantage. Poison breath. This is yeah. That's the one way you get over on Boji is with his kindness. Yes, yes. That they mentioned that. Yep. Iron stomach, because he's part giant. Actually, he's full giant. I'm forgetting mom and dad. Really is the greatest. Boji is quick on the draw. As... Ooh, a tragedy from you. I like how they're introducing themselves to her as if she's going to be an accomplice or an ally, you know, or as no. I'm sorry, we need to go against her. That's... I don't want to say let's kill Ukin because he's a great guy, but... Oh my god, so... Again, with the, I don't mean to pause it again, but the power scaling in this in the show is crazy. Despa has been our main power scaler so far. Um, has said Boji is way outmatching Desha, who Desha is probably our strongest character we've seen so far. Apparently not, because Boji has no match for Ukin, which is like, this is just... It's all crazy, you know? Even if Boji could take down Ukin, Boji still wouldn't be able to kill him because Ukin is like immortal. It's like force attacks Boji can even dodge. That's crazy. Wait, is he not using force attacks? Is he throwing rocks? What is this man doing? That's what I'm saying. I didn't even see him throwing anything. We're going in. Ooh, piercing a couple of holes. Boji is so quick with it. That's my thing. I think Boji is technically a little more skilled than Ukin, but I think Ukin just has way too many OP powers. Like the Force, like fucking Immortality. Like that right there should have knocked Ukin out, but nothing. That is one of Boji's special moves. That is actually so crazy how precise that boy is. But then this is what he did last time to his broken blade and it just regroup. That's so broken. What is that? That is broken. That is broken. First off, this animation is actually fantastic. The choreography and the way in which they're moving is fantastic. Oh, he's actually starting to get winded, getting a little tired. Yeah? I was just about to ask that. Then we're back with Dida with baby Miranjo. I'm so confused. 
Is that Miranjo's mother? Is that a baby? It is, but... So she thinks of her mom. This kid is determined for sure. How he's going back after that guy, and Bodhi's not gonna let... Even if he's a criminal, he's not gonna let some innocent person be killed. Yep. Are you finally starting to put it together, Boji? Like, I don't get what people in the show... I don't know what's up with people in the show, but if I saw a shadowy figure in a mirror, I'm not assuming they're a good person. I don't know, it's like the ninth time someone sees a shadow and they're like, Hey, what's up? How you doing? You good? You get wanna drink? I'm like, what? Alright, on to episode 18, Battle of the Gods. Back with Bebin and Daida, aka Bossy, Bosse. I'm glad. I'm glad someone's finally asking him why. Because you not see what's going on. I know. The person I hold most dear. So he's actually admitting that. I thought it was more like I don't know. I guess they both really love each other. It's so crazy. I don't know. So yep, yeah, the the mouse brought him back over to Apius, and which they can't. They don't know if they can trust Apius right now. Someone's poison. I'm assuming it was the same poison that what's his name tried to use against Boji last episode. So that makes sense why it's like a delayed death time thing, you know. I don't know if we're doing that. I mean, you guys did just try to kill us, you know. Look how much of a good person healing is. Yes, obviously Apius likes her. She likes Apius, but they were just technically enemies a minute ago. But she knows Boji wouldn't want this to happen. I love the healing powers. I love how it produces life in general. That's exactly what I'm talking about. That's the definition of humanity right there. I don't understand it. I don't understand any of you anymore. Oof. Imagine being able to confidently do anything that you see in front of you because you know Boji will help you. Oh, that was a great transition. Oh, and to sense the same thing coming from Bose or from Boji as you did Bose is qu quite crazy. Domas, ha we got a whole fucking reunion of the big four now. <laughs> Immediately throws away his sword. <laughs> I love healing. That's all you can do. You gotta move forward. Okay. I need this to happen like this. I need all of our new reunited squad to go help Boji fight Ukin because he needs all your help. I need you guys too. Come on. Hilling can go heal up. She needs it. But I need Dorshi there as well. Actually, Dorshi needs to heal up too. Thank you. Thank you, Hilling. Of the Homa Kingdom. Mage Fighter? Okay, what is this? Elden Ring? So while he's thinking back on the memories, Diet is able to see him because he's in like the consciousness of him. Oh, that's so sick. They were the first nation to defy the gods. I didn't even know we had certified gods. I know we were talking about Satan last episode. That actually looked like Satan on the right there. Yeah. That makes sense. That she's a mage from this magical kingdom. Her powers are pretty damn great. Was an outstanding wizard. Ooh. Bosse beat him. Bosse killed Miranjo's dad? Wow. I love hearing Yuki Kaji narrate anything. Really? So he's known her since she was a youngin. That's insane. So he joined the homicide and fought alongside the gods. In the Yakuza Kingdom. Okay. Valid point. Okay. Much more rural. 
I see. That's how a land who's been like drip fed their own life, you know, has to be, you know? So I get it. And they felt justified. I would as well if I was forced to live in that scenario. They really. So they became prosperous and ne still never helped? What the fuck, man? So the, the Gyakuza were the ones who gave, like, the home of their, uh. Yep. Who, yep. Saddled with the blame. Makes a whole lot of sense. This isn't the group of people that's in, like, Miranjo's dream state, right? With Daida. Why? She's a doctor who does nothing but help you. I'm so confused. This is horrible, man. Even both of them get pissed just thinking about what happens next. Uh-huh. They just started turning on all the Homa. Well, damn. I, I completely understand Miranjo and Bosse teaming together to go against the gods or anything, but what the fuck did Bosse's kingdom have to do with, you know? Oh, that's such a Tanjiro thing to do. You tie your hand to your sword, so no matter what, you retain that grip. You never get too exhausted. Uh, Boji is a fucking badass. This is as serious as Boji has ever been. The last person to do that and save his life was Apius. Is this Desha? Is this Desha Despa? Thank you, my friend. I appreciate you. I love the team-ups we do with Desha with his lightning. I love the way that was animated, but I love how they both, Desha and Despa, feel this special need to take care of Ukin because he's their brother. Like, they need to do this. Desha's lightning is so strong. He tanked in the upper half of his body, grounding himself. Would he go just directly from his arm right down to the body? Yep. That was smart. That was really smart. That was really smart. Never would have thought of that. Oh, I really like the captain too. I'm not going to immediately lose hope and think he's dead because there's a good amount of healing we can do in this show. Ooh, good. Don't do it. Is that... No, don't do it. He's, there's no way for him to protect himself against the lightning. This will take care of Ukin, but... I was so like, I love when they have touching moments inside consciousness and shit like that. I was never expecting that. Like, look at Boji. Oh my god. Boji, I've never seen Boji go Super Saiyan. And then you have this. Oh my god, this is so broken. Like, nothing ever happened. Like, legitimately. There goes Boji's mobility. Apius, Domas, Dorshi. Someone, please. Kage, Shadow Lord? Is this why they're... <laughs> Is this why the shadows are so weird? <laughs> okay, Kage? What? Talk about a couple of crazy episodes. I love the small bits of backstory that we're getting with Miranjo, the, the Homa, the Gyakuza, and like the gods. I didn't realize, I mean, I kind of did when they showed Satan, but there was like an actual race of a bunch of gods who 
as Greek mythology and other mythologies tend to say, like certain mythologies are obviously different than others, but these are very controlling uh, servitude type of gods where they will, you know, rule over you with an iron fist and the Homa using magic like the gods was the first to rebel and then trying to team up with the Yakuza who that was all just horrible right there. I get Mirangelo's backstory and I get how tragic it is. Trust me that that's like an Aaron. That's like an Aaron Jaeger Mikasa level backstory where you just get ran up in your home and you're just like, what the, you know? So I completely under get turning crazy and trying to get some vengeance and stuff like that. But the only ones that could assume the vengeance would be on would either be the Yakuza or the gods. Whereas why are we teaming up with Bosse to take down our own kingdom in which she helped Bosse make this kingdom, which is my only I'm, that's the only part I'm confused. I know they were trying to have a son so he could, you know, let uh, re extend his life. See, I need the whole story. Getting pieces and pieces definitely helps, but I need the whole story. Like, why? I know. Uh, see, no, nah, I can't even. I can't even speculate. Ulken, actually insane. Despa, the captain. I need everyone to survive. Ulken is so broken. It's pissing me off that I just I don't know what to do. But absolutely fantastic episodes. Boji went stupid desha despa I, there's so many fantastic characters in the show i'm way too excited to be continuing it hopefully you guys are as well if you are please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below then we're gonna check out that patreon early access or full length four episodes also the twitch full length watch it live with me then we're gonna check out the other social medias instagram tiktok twitter all at dapper darius much appreciated y'all we're gonna drink some water tell someone you love them have a great day dapper squad peace